the PlayStation Move has finally arrived and we've run it through the ringer. Can it stand up to the Wii or the controller free Kinect? Well, we'll have to wait until November to see, but one thing is clear, Sony has brought their A-game with their new motion controller. In concept, the Move is a perfect combination of a Wiimote and Kinect, giving players the precision of a controller but using a camera for visual interaction and full body tracking. In practice, it could use some tweaking. The Move uses a series of accelerometers, angular rate sensors, magnetometers, and an LED tracking system to determine motion, velocity, rotation, and position within 3D space. All of this technical jargon works together to create one of the most accurate, one-to-one -one motion control systems available. But despite the tremendous power behind the Move, performance can vary from game to game. We tested the Move on a variety of launch titles including iPad, Sports Champions, and Kung Fu Rider, and found that accuracy ranged from perfect to absolutely terrible. While Sports Champions and iPad seemed to have most of the kinks ironed out and seemed truly one-to-one, -one, games like Kung Fu Rider were glitchy and had tremendous amounts of delay. We also had issues when we tested the move in different types of environments. While it fared well in situations with little conflicting light, we noticed accuracy took a hit when we used it in bright, well-lit rooms. As a result, we found ourselves readjusting the camera and having to recalibrate the controllers frequently. The move also seems to be designed for traditional TV setups, and if you have a projector system, you may have to go out of your way to set it up in your home theater. As for the controllers themselves, both the Move and Navigation controllers feel solid and last for about seven hours on a single charge. Both are on par with the DualShock 3 in terms of durability, though the glowing orbs could easily get ripped off in a fit of rage. But so long as you don't aggravate your buddies, you should be fine. Of course, none of this matters unless the price is right, and Sony is playing it smart by letting players buy the Move in pieces. If you already own a PlayStation Eye, buying the Move can cost as little as $50, while a game, a controller, and the camera cost only $100. Naturally, the price goes up depending on how many controllers you want, but it's ultimately up to you. So, should you run out and buy the PlayStation Move on launch day? Well, it depends. Launch software is a bit lacking at the moment, but the Move itself could potentially be one of the best motion controller solutions around. If you want to buy in early, pick your games carefully, but otherwise you may want to wait until developers make something exceptionally awesome for the Move. For all the details of the PlayStation Move and more, check out IGN.com.